Yo, what's going on everyone? Um, so, I've had a lot of people ask me about, like, so, what's the mix-up with Claudio's Wild Ring 2, you know, the forward, 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 because people say that it's not really good because the forward, forward, forward can be stepped and, you know, so on, so on, but, yes, it can be stepped, but if you're using it properly, then it's, like, if you're not using it from a mile away and you're, like, you're only doing the forward, forward, and forward from, like, range 2-ish, range, just, just past range 2, then you should be okay. But um, I'm going to show you something that a lot of people have asked me how to do because, you know, it is really good and I'll show you in this clip because this is where people have noticed it on why it's so good and how and how it works. So what I'm going to show you is how to do Claudio star, star burst forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 with a wild running motion because obviously if you do it with, there's a certain way of doing it where people are getting confused where they just think that you just run up and do forward 1 plus 2, it's going to come out but they get wild running 2 instead. Um, I'll just show you the clip that everybody's talking about that if you if you haven't seen it on the previous video because this is on my channel as well as this video if you haven't seen it yet then you won't know but I'll just show you it now so now I've got starburst and people want to know how I did that how I did that running move oh my god this is gonna hurt this is gonna hurt and as you can see, all that damage that, that that gave me actually won me that game and got me through to top 16 winner's side. Um, I'll just go on to the game and show you exactly how I've done it and why some people are getting it wrong. Right. So, the best time to use it is if you're punishing something like uh, with forward 2-2 or sometimes back 2 as well because you're creating that gap. So, for instance, if I block this and punish that look at the distance that's created people are thinking look we're, we're at range four people are going to think you know oh, wild running two is coming in because a lot of claudios like to pressure like get get the turn back using wild running two right so this is where people are getting wrong obviously you'll be able to see in the bottom right corner oh it'll be that way for you the bottom right corner um my inputs so if i'm not doing anything and i try to do running hold up plus two i'm just going to get running two and that's what a lot of you are getting um so the way to do it is, when you're punishing something, like this, keep, you'll see I've, I've kept holding my 2 button. If you keep holding your 2 button, um, that input is always going to be there. I, I don't know why it's like that, it's just part of the game. That input is always going to be there. Look, when I'm moving, it's showing I've got hold of the 2 button. Even though no 2 move is coming out, it shows I've got hold of that 2 button. So once you've punished with it, what you're going to want to be doing is, um, I'll just quickly show you. So I'll punish with it, keep hold of it, run, and then just mash forward one plus two. You don't, well, just keep holding your running button and mash forward one plus two. So I get it back, run forward, oops, my bad, run forward, and just smash your one plus two button. You're always keeping on that two, you're not going to get any other input. Well, you can smash your one button as well, I'm pretty sure it works, but I have one plus two set as my L1 button, so that's just me smashing my one button, as you can see. But you have to keep hold of the two button. So this is a way you can a mix up with your uh, with your wild ring two. So you've got the punish. So you're a, you're plus plus forty, like it says there, with the opponent knocked down. So you can come in and do whatever you want. Um, obviously, most people think, oh, Claudio, it's wild ring two. You know, that's what they like to use. But if you've got hold of that two button, you can run in. They're gonna duck you. I'm gonna get you for a combo. So that's just to let people know how I do that, and that's something that I like to use against people, like you saw in the in the video at the start. It, it won me a set uh, two to one in the final final round against a really really good sponsored player. Um, but stuff like like that is a mix up that you can use for his well running too. So yeah, uh, I hope you take some away from that.